Women Inflammation and Tau study is tracking how lifestyle factors like sleep quality, diet, and activity might drive up inflammation and how it may be linked to Alzheimer's disease. Along with how maybe sex hormones like estrogen and, and testosterone might impact that too, we might be able to understand how best to intervene to improve things which will actually have a cognitive uh, benefit to women. Sarah Banks is a neuropsychologist who is co-leading the study. So far, the early data found that how women sleep may be a risk factor. That sleep apnea is this under-recognized, highly treatable um, component that might be uh, driving some of the some of the sleep, some of the um, memory problems in Alzheimer's disease. A surprising 70% of women in the study had undiagnosed sleep apnea. Erin Sunderman is a cognitive neuroscientist who co-leads the study. She says that sleep disruption can lead to higher levels of tau in the brain, especially in women with a genetic risk for Alzheimer's. Tau pathology is a buildup of abnormal tau protein that leads to the memory deficits that we see in Alzheimer's disease. Women tend to have more tau, and we are trying to understand why. And we think inflammation might be a culprit. A family history of dementia and Alzheimer's made joining the study personal for 76-year-old Sharon Lee. I, I eat pretty well, and I try to exercise just not my body, but also my brain, you know, do new things and, you know, keep active. Participants commit to multiple clinic visits over two years. They do imaging, they do blood draws, lumbar punctures, cognitive testing. Participants get health feedback, a cognitive score, and a copy of the brain scan. The researchers hope their findings can lead to better prevention, especially if everyday habits like sleep, diet, or exercise turn out to play a big role. They are looking for 50 more women over 65 to join. We, we hope to get a, a diverse group of women in that reflect the population um, uh, so that our results can help to generalize to not just one specific demographic group, but to women in general. It's a commitment, but one that researchers say could unlock answers for generations to come. Heidi DeMarco, KPBS News.